What's up, internet friends? So about a week and a half ago, I had surgery to repair my ulnar collateral ligament in my arm. Let's talk about it. So the procedure that I had is commonly referred to as Tommy John surgery, and it's a surgery to repair my ulnar collateral ligament. Some people can use a spare ligament from their own arm, but I didn't have that, so I got a donor from a cadaver. Tommy John surgery is considered an elective procedure. It's incredibly common in um, baseball pitchers. I read somewhere that up to a third of major league pitchers have had Tommy John surgery at some point in their careers. So as a young woman, um, skater, never thrown a baseball in my life, when I first met my surgeon, I think he was a little bit confused and maybe he was a little bit unsure if this was the correct procedure for me. My point in making this video is I know a few other skaters have similar issues with their ligaments, so maybe sharing my experience will help you guys to make a decision about whether or not the surgery is something that you want to do or not. I was also inspired to make these videos by a YouTuber called um, Kumar the Guru, who video blogged about his recovery from Tommy John surgery. Um, he was a ball player and a pitcher, and it seems like most baseball players who end up damaging their ligament and needing this surgery, it's a repetitive use injury. Mine was not. Um, mine was actually a fall on an outstretched arm. Now, I like to think of myself as a very safe faller. I grew up doing gymnastics, I practice parkour, I teach classes on how to fall safely on your roller skates, so I know better than to put my arms out, but it was a bad situation. I was skating at night, my depth perception was off, I was carving over a cake stack, um, my foot came out of the bowl and it was kind of either to catch myself on my arm or smash my face on, face on the stairs, so I chose to catch myself with my arm and it made a loud popping sound. My elbow basically was shoved up my arm and I could tell right away something was wrong. Oh shit, I broke my arm. Oh no. So after the first time I fell onto my outstretched arm, I knew something was wrong. There was a loud pop, there was intense pain. My arm looked like it was up here. Um, I have a video, I shout, my arm's broken, but actually it wasn't broken. Um, my boyfriend bravely came over and told me to stay calm while he kind of tugged on it. He tugged on it really hard. It made this pop and it lined up perfectly again. Um, I was in so much pain after that. We went to CVS, got me an ice pack, and I just went home and rested for about a week. Um, it still hurt, it was still swollen, so I went to the doctor at about a week and a half, two weeks. They x-rayed me and told me that I didn't break anything. I was fine. And I just needed to keep resting and try not to fall on it again. So yes, I was sent home from the hospital and told basically, take Tylenol, try not to fall on it again, and there's nothing broken, so hopefully you can get it strong and get back to sports. So that's what I did. I rested. I did a little bit of weightlifting. I got to where I could do a couple of push-ups. I was able to do handstands again. I even did some inverts, which is a newer trick to me. And I was feeling really, really strong and confident. The next time it popped out was, uh, I don't know, a few months after the first time, after feeling strong and confident, after getting my handstands and push-ups back, I was skateboarding at Venice Beach, just did a little rocked fakie, and uh, my board shot out, I put my hand down, and came right up. Same pop, same pain, same weird deformity. It was awful. I honestly blacked out at Venice Beach, so I don't exactly remember what happened. I think I had my boyfriend drop into the bowl and set it, and then I tried to climb out of the bowl and it popped back out. And then he tried to set it again. I passed out. <laughs> I woke up to him saying, babe, you have to move. You're in the middle of the skate park. And I was just cold sweat, totally disoriented, totally dizzy. Um, got out of the skate park and went and got ice cream. <laughs> So aside from fainting, this one wasn't as bad. It did swell up, but this time I already had the sling, I already had the ace bandages, I already had the brace, so I was like a pro at this elbow thing by now. 
Um, and the healing time didn't take as long. The first time I fell on it, I think it was probably swollen for a month. And then the second time, maybe a week, and then it was back to normal again. The new normal, which is like not strong. I couldn't really do push-ups, didn't really want to do handstands, but you know, I could carry my shopping bags, I could open doors, I could mop the floor. So I felt like I was pretty much in the clear, and if I started doing some strength training, that I would be right back to handstands and push-ups and inverts and climbing and diving and all that good fun stuff. Unfortunately, my elbow had other plans, and as soon as I was feeling strong, it popped out on me again, and the third time, it was just an ollie up a curb. The board slipped out from under me, I put my hand down, and it wasn't even like a fall. It was really just that I had put my hand down at that angle and it popped out so easily. Once again, my boyfriend was there. He ran over, set my arm for me. Yeah. Okay. It happens. This is the third time. Okay. Really? Maybe. Do you have loose ligaments? Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't try to move it. I'm not. I'm, I'm, not I'm relaxing. She's a beast. That time it wasn't as bad. He said it didn't come all the way out, but it was enough that it was looking deformed and it, it was just really painful and uncomfortable. But this time it didn't take nearly as long to heal. It was only swollen for a couple of days. My fingers never got swollen. Um, I was back to normal probably a week later. I was still wearing a brace when I was skating, but now even though my arm felt normal, doing my daily tasks. I couldn't do handstands or any type of movement on this ligament without feeling just so unstable. There were times when I was just like wiping the counters and I would feel like a pop, like my, my elbow came out of place and I'd kind of have to pop it back. Um, I was still hoping that through yoga and strength training and physical therapy, I would be able to do, you know, handstands and cartwheels again. And I did a few with the brace on. I have a video that my boyfriend made a compilation of uh, handstands and inverts and death drops on my messed up elbow. But you can see the pain in my eyes. I'm like biting my lip and squinting like I just was so terrified that it was going to come out. And sometimes it did. Um, ne never bad enough to make me faint or to make me go to the hospital. But again, I would just pop in and out, sharp pain. It would make me fall. Um, it felt really not safe to be roller skating like that. So I kind of stopped roller skating. I mean, I still use my roller skates to get to work. I still went to the disco on Friday night. I went to a couple of the Tuesday night street skates. But as far as going to the skate park and trying to push it, Half of my tricks are hand plants. If I can't do a death drop or an invert or a cartwheel, like it just feels like half of my bag of tricks are gone. Another thing about roller skating is that there's no kicking your skates off and running out of it like you can with a skateboard. So even though skateboarding is just as dangerous, I do feel like I have a little bit more control over how I fall. I can bail and just run away. With roller skates, there are a lot of times where you eat it, you're going down and you're gonna have to like fall. I'm just babying this arm. It doesn't feel safe for me to, to roller skate. So I spent more time practicing my little baby tricks on my skateboard and trying to get my strength back, but it just, it was not coming back. My arm was just getting worse and worse and worse. Carrying groceries, my elbow would slip out of place. I couldn't climb my fitness pole. I couldn't do yoga. I couldn't do handstands or inversions anymore, which is a huge, huge part of my yoga practice. Some of y'all also know I was a professional cliff diver for a little while, and that was another thing I feel like I totally could not do. Even though it's not that much of a part of my life anymore, I would love to be able to dive, and having an unstable elbow when you're going from like a five or a 10 meter onto your, it puts so much pressure on your wrists and your elbows and your shoulders that I didn't feel like that was something I could do. I didn't feel comfortable surfing. Um, just so many of the fun activities that 
help keep me healthy and happy were just off the table. Another thing that's a little embarrassing to talk about is that I've gained a bit of weight. Not a ton, but 10 or 15 pounds. It makes a difference when you're an athlete and you feel like you're not at your potential. And part of that is my own fault. I don't really diet, but I'm very active. And a big part of my fitness is inversions and stuff that I just haven't been able to do. So it's kind of a perpetuating like spiral of sadness. Like mm, I'm hurt, I'm out of shape. It just sucks. Like it just really sucked for me to feel like I was done with sports, you know? I'm only 32. After I got home from teaching skate camp in Seattle, where I had a really great time, but I had a lot of issues with my arm, I decided to go back to the doctor and say, hey, you know, it's not getting better, it's getting worse. I wanna see what my options are to fix it so I can get back to sports. Kaiser set me up with this really great doctor who took a look at it, manipulated my arm, and he said, I know exactly what you need. It's called Tommy John surgery. Um, for a big surgery, it's as routine as possible. It's gonna fix you right up. And I said, wow, that's amazing. Um, do you need an MRI or anything? And he said, no, 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 I'll be able to see it when I get in there. I do the whole elbow, like I specialize in the entire arm. So even if there's more damage, I'll be able to repair it. I don't need any imaging, it's all good. But I won't be able to get you in until I don't know, till like, I think the date he gave me was December 11th. And I said, okay, um, that's fine. You know, I'm just looking to do it as soon as possible so I can get back to sports. And he said, great. And I said, great. And I went home and then I got a call from Kaiser and they said they switched me to a different surgeon who could do it sooner. I was like, hell yeah, let's get this, get this ball rolling, you know? Um, but I had to do a pre-op with the other surgeon and when I walked in, he took a look at me and he was like, you don't look like a ball player. What are you doing here? The second surgeon that I saw is the one that actually ended up doing my surgery and he was incredible. Um, I could tell that he's the shit. He does the surgery probably thousands of times, but he definitely is used to doing it on professional ball players. So when he saw me, I think he was a little surprised. First of all, it's my left arm and I feel like left-handed pitchers are probably a little bit unique and rare anyways. And then to see me, I've got my skateboard with me because I skated to my appointment covered in tattoos. Like, you know, I think he was expecting to see a college ball player and not like a middle-aged lady with <laughs> a skateboard. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. And he ordered an MRI because he was like, let's figure out exactly what's going on here because if you fell on it as hard as you say you did, it's really likely that not only did you mess up your UCL, but you also messed up all this stuff in your arm. So, so let's get some imaging done. I get the MRI. I'm a little annoyed at that because it costs a lot of money. It's about $800, my copay. Um, but that's okay because it gives me peace of mind. He calls me and he says, I'm so glad I did the imaging. Yes, the Tommy John surgery is the correct procedure for you. He said, I did have a lot of damage to the outside of my elbow. However, it had all healed and it had all healed correctly and well. And the only thing left to do was to repair my ulnar collateral ligament to restabilize the elbow. So the day of my surgery finally comes and I am so nervous. For those of you who have followed me for a while, you may know that I have some medical related PTSD. So when I got there and they put the IV in me, I felt like I was dying and I had a panic attack and I broke out into a cold sweat and they had to change my bedding. <laughs> and that might've been the worst part of the whole thing. Once they finally put me under anesthesia, it sucked, just blackness. And then I woke up two hours later in this bad boy. Um, my beautiful boyfriend was there to pick me up. I was super nervous about the surgery, especially because my history of medical trauma and I wanted to have some family in town for it. Um, I'm here in Los Angeles and my parents are in Florida. So I tried to plan to have family in town, but with my surgery getting shuffled around, it just didn't work out. So I'm really, really lucky that I had my boyfriend because I hardly remember anything after waking up from anesthesia. Apparently he took me home and fed me and got me into bed, but I was just 
zonked, I guess. Um, the recovery has been pretty smooth. The worst part is probably just the emotional and mental stuff that I'm dealing with. Um, I know that all surgeries have possibility of complications and unfortunately I've had a couple of panic attacks thinking that I'm having a complication and that is simply due to my medical trauma and my PTSD, which I'm medicated for and my medical staff knows about and they've just been really accommodating and great. I do want to stress that this recovery is pretty intense. Um, the pain has been pretty bad sometimes and I keep having to remind myself that this is a serious surgery and it's usually done on serious athletes and I am a serious athlete. I may not be pro, but Skating is part of who I am. Roller derby is part of who I am. Skateboarding, skate park, surfing, diving, climbing, that's what I like to do. And it's gonna be worth it, I think, in the long run for me. Um, it's definitely not easy. It's a surgery where they drill into your bone and repair the tendon, so it's very invasive and it's not for the faint of heart. But I'm really looking forward to getting into physical therapy. I'm just now even noticing all the things that I was missing. I tried to say, hey, you know, I'm right-handed, so what does it matter if my left arm is unstable? I'll still be able to go to work. I'm not a professional athlete. I don't need to throw fastballs. But not being able to do yoga, not being able to do gymnastics, not being able to skate the way that I like to skate, not feeling comfortable doing things like surfing, diving, and climbing that are hobbies of mine that also help to keep me in good physical and mental health have really, it's really, really taken a toll on me. So I'm hoping that the surgery kind of helps me get back to where I want to be athletically, fitness-wise, mental health-wise. Um, roller derby is starting to come back in some places. I would love to be able to play again. I don't think it's safe to play with no ligaments in your elbow. I could give somebody a whip and they could just take my arm right off. So, you know, roller derby in LA isn't fully back yet, but it's gonna be back and I'm not fully back yet, but I'm gonna be back. And it's really nice to know that I'll be able to play again at 100% if I want to. And I think I do. So I have a lot to look forward to. I'm getting my cast off tomorrow. I'm gonna have more mobility. I'll be able to go back to work. Don't tell my doctor I've already been working, but it's really hard to bartend with one arm. So everything's gonna be better starting tomorrow. And maybe I'll check in in another week or two and let you guys know how physical therapy is going. Thank you so much for watching and leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for uh, your patience because this is a new format of content for me. And I hope to be healed up soon and I can skate with everybody again. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I mostly post roller skate videos, uh, but I also post other stuff about my life. So follow me or don't. Huh.